Hi, Alex Manners here with the Prelude team. Today I'm going to be demonstrating our latest community plugin release, which is Vector. If you're unaware, Vector has published a new version, 8.2, which includes a REST API. So from Operator, we're now able to live stream data directly into Vector as you are running operations. Today I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what that looks like. To start, first thing we need to do is go into our plugins and click on the new Vector plugin. You'll see that there's going to be several different fields we need to populate, so let's go ahead and do that. First, I will grab the vector URL. And populate that. Next, I'm going to provide my database name. Then I need to retrieve an organization name. And I can grab my organization name from my profile. Now we need to set up an API key. So from your user profile, you can go to your API keys. You can see I already have one. I'm actually going to create a new API key. I'll grab that public key, and I will grab this secret key. Last thing we have is an option to either automatically determine a campaign or set a manual campaign name. By default, we will automatically create a new campaign every time the deploy button is hit. So from operate, when you click deploy, each operation ID would map directly to a campaign. Alternatively, you have the option to specify a campaign name if you would like to run a discrete TTP and then have that append to the campaign. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate both, but we'll start with automatically creating a campaign. So I will click Save. Once I've clicked Save, I can go to Operate and we will have the publisher now attached. Inside of Vector, if we go to Assessment, we can see clicking Save automatically creates a new Prelude top-level assessment. And now all I need to do is run some TTPs. So if I click and run File Hunter, you can see several different TTPs will run. And then if I come into my Prelude assessment, you can see that I have now automatically pushed all of that data directly into Vector. And you will get the, the traditional maps. And if you click on a TTP, you'll get all of the description data. The operator guidance will have the TTP that was run. And outcome notes will have the uh, results of that particular TTP. We also tag it with platform, executor, and the uh, person who ran it, which is a UUID. Now, another option you have is to specify a campaign. So we automatically, as you could see, give it a prelude operation with a date timestamp, but you can specify a campaign. So if I want to run a long-term campaign and say Alex's long-term campaign, I can click Save, and then I can go run some more TTPs. So let's say I want to run Ransom Note, and then I can refresh, and we'll now have Alex's long-term campaign, which will have that Ransom Note. And then any additional TTPs that I run from here, so if I run uh, active user, for example, and I get my active user, that's going to then get populated into Vector along with the existing TTPs from that particular campaign. So this is our latest uh, community plugin release, a Vector real-time data stream publisher plugin. We hope you like it, and you can download it and install it now in Operator. Thanks for watching.